Danny, it's good to see you. Yeah, you too. How you doing? I like your space there. I like this, the shelving. Thank you. I would trade you for the bricks, I think. You'd trade like me for the bricks? All right, that's fair. Yeah. We'll just change backdrops. Exactly, um, exactly. Yeah, first of all, thank you for uh, for, for the time today, and, and uh, thank you for the series, Dope Sick. It, it is really a very deep and, and interesting type of, uh, of, I don't even know how to explain it. There, you've done your job. You've, you've yeah, yeah. me. I sometimes feel that way about a project that if it's hard to sum up real easily, it's like, oh, that could be interesting. You know, it's, there's not just some simple pitch, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, two, uh, two lawyers on a fishing trip and, uh, you know, one dies, right. It's like, there's something really layered and complex and, and challenging to it. And that often can be uh, some of the best stuff, or it can often be a train wreck. You never know. Well, this uh, is, not, I mean, what what you have here is just like the opioid you know uh, pa pandemic that we have epidemic. There is no easy answer to explain yeah. how this all happened, and yet uh, you kind of bring your camera into some interesting hot spots. Well, that was the approach, you know, that that to tell one story. Uh, wouldn't really tell the story of the opioid crisis, that there are so many levels, so many dimensions of this story. And I thought if we could tell this story on the ground uh, with people that, uh, you know, sadly become addicted to it, especially, you know, by just taking it for an injury, it's prescribed by a doctor, right? And then go all the way to the height of the, of the halls of the Justice Department and take us into Purdue Pharma and follow uh, the, the U.S. attorney's investigation into Purdue, that, that the, the totality of all that would give you a much more bird's eye view of how the opioid crisis really happened and what it really is. Um, because it, like I said, and like you said, it's not just, it's not just one story. Um, it's, 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 it's a lot of stories and there's a lot of moving parts to it and it's, it's complex. Uh, but then there's also a simplicity at its core. Uh, there's a pharma company uh, that was a criminal company that lied, manipulated, obfuscated, uh, influence peddled uh, their way into making billions by selling a highly addictive drug as non-addictive. Do you prefer doing uh, uh, this type of work in a serial, you know, type of way like this is, you know, as a series or, you know, it, it's got to be a different muscle than making, you know, a, a feature length film? Uh, yeah, it, it is. And, you know, this is my first foray into limited series. I've done some ongoing series and I've done some movies. Um, and this is, a, there's a real sweet spot here. I mean, I get why some of the biggest shows of the last two or three years have been limited series. It's a very exciting space because you get more time to develop the characters. You get more time to dig deeper at a level of complexity. Uh, but at the same time, you are building to an ending you know, as opposed to an ongoing series where you're not building to an ending, you're building to an ending of the season, but you're going to keep going, which, which is great. And you get to stay with characters for years and years and years, but it also can minimize dramatic tension in certain types of genres, because I know that Tom Selleck's not going to die in Blue Buds. I just know, I know that that's not going to happen, right? No matter how much they want to make you think it's going to happen. So it's, it's a, uh, but in a limited series um, or in Game of Thrones, uh, you, you know, there's always that tension of you don't know what's going to happen because it's the show is going to end in in a, a finite number of episodes. You have an amazing cast you play with on this. I, I it's like a who's who of Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, best of the best. I think I think these these are all actors, actors. I'm such fans of all of them, and there are all these incredible actors who showed up and brought their A game. I mean, the performances are just incredible. And I've been blessed with amazing casts and so many of my projects, but I don't know if I've, I've ever had a cast quite like this um, with all of just these incredible actors. And they've all been wonderful people too. It's like everyone just showed up and they were just fantastic to work with. It was a, it was a real pleasure, a very unique life experience for me. Yeah, and Hulu must be a great company to work with as well. They, they're just doing a, an amazing job of promoting this. Yeah, Hulu is killing it. I mean, they have been such fantastic partners on this. They have great taste. So the notes uh, have not been to dumb it down, but to you know find depth and complexity and, and drama. Um, I've, I've loved working with them every step of the way. I think the marketing campaign is killer. And I think they're on a great run. I think for the last two years, um, they've just been doing wonderful programming 
Uh, and it, it sort of reminds me, you know, I was fortunate enough to work with HBO kind of in the golden age of HBO. Uh, and, and that's what it feels like working at Hulu right now. It feels like they're in this sort of golden, golden moment of creativity at a very high level. Uh, and they're also getting behind these projects and, 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 and marketing them in a, in a really broad, really cool, uh, dynamic way. So, you know, I couldn't be happier to be uh, working with them. And I'm glad you are. Uh, this is an amazing series. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it.